All right, uh, now that I have my little power supply working, I thought I'd use it. Um, I have it set to 100 volts, and I have a capacitor here that I took out of my um, my HP 8921 when I repaired it. So this is the 400 volt, uh, 220 microfarads, but pretty healthy capacitor. And uh, so we can take our little 100 volt uh, power supply, and I can charge it up. I've got a 68k resistor here, so we can watch the voltage go up when I uh, when I start charging it. So uh, goes up pretty quick, 33, 6, 40, 50. So I want to get it up to uh, up to something reasonable. And uh, before I do it all the way, let me show you uh, the circuit that we're going to test. Uh, and I'm not going to take credit for this. Uh, this is a uh, an idea that came from Mr. Carlson's lab on YouTube. So if you don't subscribe to his channel, do. Uh, it's uh, he's really really good at stuff. And one of the things he's very good at is is old equipment, um, uh, mostly vacuum tube equipment. And um, he uh, works with high voltage capacitors all the time. So he has a need uh, to be safe. And so he invented this little discharge circuit. Uh, that allows him to discharge high voltage capacitors in a safe manner. And he's got a circuit that uh, I believe is a bit overkill, uh, but he, t he uses very, very high voltages and very, very large capacitors. Nothing I would ever work on, so I've kind of scaled it down a bit. But it is his circuit, and what it is is uh, two big uh, power resistors uh, that uh, are used to actually shunt uh, the capacitor um, and bleed it down. And then you don't always know whether you bled it down all that. You know, how long do I hold it on there? Is it really bled down all the way? You could get out a voltmeter and try to make sure it has bled down all the way. Um, but the great idea that he had was let's put some LEDs on here. And so uh, I have uh, two LEDs. And these LEDs, uh, uh, these... Uh, Two LED, uh, two resistors add about a 5k load to discharge things, and uh, this resistor here is a 68k, uh, which is in in uh, parallel with these two. So a little bit of the current snakes over to this circuit, and uh, it goes to these two LEDs. So you can uh, just use uh, this large uh, resistor to light up these two LEDs. But if you put too high too high a voltage on the LEDs, you're going to blow them up. So uh, there's a clever little circuit here, so there's some 5.6 Zener diodes. Um, so make sure that these, these LEDs never see more than 5.6 across them. There's a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current even at 5.6 volts. Um, so uh, I don't want to get the schematic because uh, uh, Mr. Carlson's already done that and it's his circuit, so go over there and take a look at that. Um, but I have built one myself now, um, so we can try it out. So let's go back here and um, continue charging our capacitor up. Make sure it's up around 100 volts. So we watch the voltage climb here. 80 volts. Once we get it past 90 we can, we can stop here. It slows down as it gets near to the top. There we go, 88. Okay, 91, 92, 94. Okay, so good, good enough. So we have 93 volts on the capacitor, and it has some internal leakage and stuff, but now we're going to take our circuit, and I want you to watch these LEDs and then watch the, uh, uh, the voltage as it comes down. So when we put it on here, we have an LED lit, and then that LED slowly blinks out. And uh, then our voltage is down here to, uh, to 0.4 volts, so... It's working great. Uh, the way that this is wired is it doesn't matter if it's uh, uh, on one way or on the opposite polarity. One of these LEDs will light. So one of the LED works in the plus direction. One of these LEDs works in the minus direction. So all you have to make sure is that the LED extinguishes and then you know your capacitor is bled down. So um, uh, what Mr. Carlson did was to take this little... This, this isn't very safe either because there's high voltages here. You have your fingers all over it. So what he did was put it inside a little plastic box and then added some, uh, added some test leads to it. So he has these two test leads that he can go out and touch capacitors and it runs it through that circuit. And you just watch for the LEDs to extinguish and then, uh, 
and then everything is done. So uh, yeah, a uh, great little idea. Now I've got one. So the next time I work on these uh, high voltage capacitors, uh, I can use my little bleed circuit and uh, yeah, that'll make me very happy. So this is the box that I put it in. Uh, now I have my little, my little bleed circuit. I've got the uh, leads. I can go over to a, uh, I can go over to a capacitor, and I can uh, bleed the charge off, and it's all in a nice little plastic box. I can't shirt myself, so I <laughs> can't electrocute myself. Uh, yeah, pretty good.